everybody. Uh, first, Mohammed Shah with you. Uh, our subject today is to talk about uh, reverse osmosis with energy recovery device, uh, especially uh, uh, pressure exchanger uh, unit. Reverse osmosis with uh, pressure uh, exchanger. Uh, specify your destination further. Double clicking on your uh, model. Okay, your model should be appear like this. Um, go to your model browser, check all of this, and here, check all of this. Okay, uh, reverse osmosis. Uh, we are not going in in full details because we already demonstrated that before. Therefore, uh, our intention is to talk about uh, uh, pressure exchanger. Okay, pressure exchanger, it's a device in order to exchange uh, the brain loss uh, uh, pressure uh, in order to save uh, uh, more power to the uh, uh, reverse osmosis plant. As you can see, we have, in this model, we have uh, three types of, uh, three general types of uh, reverse osmosis. We have a uh, general uh, with type without energy, without any type of uh, energy recovery device. Okay, this is the, the original case, the basic case. Okay, so uh, we have inlet feed and we have outlet uh, permeate or distillate or product or fresh water. And we have a uh, uh, brine uh, rejected. This is brine loss. However, this brine um, uh, have a massive uh, uh, pressure power. So we can use this by adding a uh, filter wheel drive in order to reduce, uh, as, uh, order to reduce as a power load on a high pressure pump because we have high pressure pump for, for the three cases, okay? Uh, for pressure exchanger device, it's uh, quite different. We're going to uh, use a pressure exchanger in order to exchange uh, the power, the pressure power uh, from uh, the brain rejected by nearly uh, um, 85 up to 80, uh, oh, I'm sorry, 95 up to 98 percent of efficiency of exchanging. So we have to split our feed inlet, okay? Split our feed. Splitting our feed will reduce the, the, uh, the pressure uh, of the high pressure bump. Therefore, we reduce, uh, not the pressure, I mean, uh, we reduce the mass flow rate. So reducing the mass flow rate on the high pressure bump will also reduce uh, the power uh, because the power uh, consumption of this bump is, is relatively high. So, splitting the feed, 0.5%, 50%, 70%, whatever, okay, you can address this effect in this model. And we can exchange uh, the splitted feed pressure with uh, the brine injected feed because this pressure is almost 60, up to 70 bars, up to 80 bars sometimes. So, it's a huge amount of pressure. So, we can uh, exchange the pressure and we need a poster bump in order to uh, um, accumulate uh, the splitted feed in, in one uh, to mix the feed again to remix the feed again in, in one stream going to uh, the membranes okay so this is quite interesting model uh, let's go dynamically and see what we can do about that first of all you have to assign uh, your uh, simulation time into infinity Double click. We have this is basic module, built to wind drive uh, module, and we have pressure exchanger. Little bit complicated. Anyway, going to the mother block, double clicking here, we have to assign some operating conditions. First of all, you can choose your configuration type. Suppose I'm, let's go for emphasizing. Okay, I'm going for pressure exchanger, still type. We can assign ambient temperature or reference temperature because um, because we are going to calculate um, exergetic analysis and seawater temperature. Suppose it's 20, and we have uh, seawater salinity. Um, it's around uh, let it be um, 42 or 40. I will keep this 42,000 uh, ppm. 
and productivity I, I'm going to change uh, the productivity and see my effect and you can choose you my brain type okay suppose I'm going for uh, high recovery ratios in my brains for seawater okay okay almost area is around 35 uh, about 3 uh, meters square square meters number of pressure vessels okay uh, suppose it's uh, uh, around uh, uh, say it's uh, 40 uh, 45 pressure vessels number of elements uh, number of pressure vessels and this is number of elements i'm sorry uh, okay increasing number of pressure of elements or number of pressure vessels will reduce the, the, the pressure uh, recovery ratio fouling factor I'll keep this recovery ratio it's around 30 35 something like this uh, outlet turbine pressure this is for for built to wind drive for protection this is our uh, outlet pressure we can assign this and splitter splitter ratio suppose i'm going for uh, uh, 0.7 oh, let it be 0.7 we will, we will see our uh, effect uh, and we have poster bump efficiency and pressure exchanger efficiency i will design my model based on uh, 98 percent okay hit apply and going here and see don't forget to check all of your streams okay to send it to uh, a data inspector in order to discover your uh, effect keep your eye on uh, on poster bomb power okay okay let's save our model and uh, let's hit run and see what we can do that's hitting run okay okay as you can see here here your consumption power consumption suppose I'm going to uh, uh, decrease decreasing okay decreasing um, Splitter ratio, okay. Reduce the bump, uh, push the bump uh, pressure. I am going to increase the mass flow rate, oh, productivity mass flow rate, okay. Productivity mass flow rate, okay. And increasing number of the pressure vessels, that's increasing number of, of the pressure vessels, okay. Uh, I will increase also uh, productivity, okay. That's increasing up to 150 and increasing uh, system productivity. Okay, increasing system productivity. You can change recovery rate. Suppose I, I will reduce recovery rate. Let's see. Okay, and I will increase uh, the feed splitting. Increasing speed splitting will increase uh, poster bump power let's go up to 80 okay uh, let's increase uh, productivity okay up to uh, 20 20,000 meter cube per day okay and keep your eye on your on your um, on pressure let's just stop and see okay this is our pressure high pressure and this is specific bar consumption okay specific bar consumption feed mass flow rate a uh, brain mass flow rate a uh, brain salinity uh, product salinity uh, average salinity uh, irreversibility rates and we have here pressure exchanger for pressure exchanger we can uh, blow down temperature outlet uh, feed pressure Outlet feed salinity, outlet feed um, uh, mass flow rate, brine uh, outlet. But we assign this outlet brine pressure, outlet brine flow rate, and so on. So uh, let's go for data inspector and see our results. Okay, we have here, as you can see, we have uh, three. We are here. The third results. Uh, high pressure this is our pressure fluctuating according to our increasing and decreasing uh, our results so we can uh, this is specific power consumption it's the same 
pressure uh, difference delta v is for beginning from uh, let's begin from uh, uh, five thousands uh, five thousands okay fluctuating and we have this is exchange of the brine exchange of the distillate okay and we have here uh, uh, a mass flow rate of the feed okay increasing and decreasing according to uh, pro, uh, uh, system productivity and brine this is brine flow rate uh, it's the length of the brine you have to go here and this from 60 okay up to 62 okay okay salinity of the brine uh, salinity of the distillate uh, total irreversibility rate as you can see this is total irreversibility rate okay and kilowatt um, feed exergy as you can see here exergy of the feed and um, okay this is average salinity uh, average uh, salinity let's go for from 40 to up to uh, uh, let's begin from 49 up to uh, 51 51 okay begin from 50 okay so um, it's quite an interesting model uh, as you can see here you can uh, change uh, the parameter many parameters you would like to change and you can address your effects um, uh, and collect your data you can collect your data by going here and send to a figure or to export export data to a workspace or even you can uh, go in here and uh, select um, sync uh, to file uh, okay, you can uh, sync your data into a, a mat file, okay, or to your uh, workspace with, with, uh, with time because we are running our, we was running our model based on uh, time, or you can go here and uh, see your results uh, from here. If you send your uh, output to, to your workspace, you can do this by checking here and select uh, choose poster bomb high pressure bomb mixer unit pressure exchanger you can choose your uh, parameter as you can see here and description and save final value to your workspace uh, it's quite easy for uh, for uh, matlab simulink you can do this easily um, finally this is our final results for mass flow rate elite mass flow rate would be around 2000 because we 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 already need around uh, this is meter cube per hour because we need 2000 uh, meter cube per day as a fresh water as you can see here this is our results specific you have to put in your mind uh, pressure not exceeding over 80 uh, bar this is 84 bars okay and specific bulk consumption if you are going to work uh, as an optimizer and poster bump uh, power you have to uh, this is poster bump power okay you have to keep watching on uh, on, on this uh, uh, power okay finally i would like to thank you very much for your interest in uh, risk library models uh, reverse osmosis with energy recovery device pressure exchangers thank you very much for your interest uh, risk